In the world of money, there are two games being played. These games are vastly different in their rules, strategies, and outcomes. The poor and the middle class play by one set of rules, often dictated by the need to survive and make ends meet, while the rich play by another, a game that focuses on wealth accumulation and financial freedom. The poor and middle class work for money, trading their time for a paycheck. They often find themselves in a cycle of earning and spending, with little left for savings or investments. The rich, on the other hand, make money work for them. They invest in assets that generate passive income, allowing their wealth to grow exponentially over time. They understand that wealth is not about how much you earn, but about how much you keep and how you make it grow. This involves smart financial planning, strategic investments, and a deep understanding of money management. One of the biggest secrets to wealth creation is to adopt the strategies used by corporations. Corporations are masters at leveraging resources, minimizing taxes, and maximizing profits. Corporations are designed to make money, and they do so very effectively. They have teams of experts who constantly seek out new opportunities and ways to increase their wealth. They have access to financial tools and strategies that most individuals never even consider. These include tax shelters, investment vehicles, and financial instruments that can significantly enhance wealth. By understanding and implementing these strategies, you can unlock the door to significant wealth. It's about learning the rules of the rich and applying them to your own financial life. This is not about getting rich quick. It's about a long-term approach to building wealth, one that requires patience, discipline, and a willingness to learn. This is about changing your mindset, learning the rules of the game, and taking control of your financial future. Education and mentorship play crucial roles in this journey. It's about building a solid foundation for lasting wealth and achieving financial freedom. This means making informed decisions, setting financial goals, and consistently working towards them. Remember, the game of wealth is not reserved for the elite. With the right knowledge and strategies, anyone can play and win. It's time to start playing the game differently. Corporations have several key advantages when it comes to building wealth. These advantages are rooted in their unique structures and the legal frameworks that support them. First, they can raise capital more easily than individuals. This is because corporations have the ability to issue stocks and bonds, which allows them to tap into large pools of money from investors. By issuing stocks, they can attract equity investors who provide funds in exchange for ownership stakes. Bonds, on the other hand, allow them to borrow money from the public with the promise of repayment with interest. Second, corporations benefit from limited liability. This legal structure ensures that the personal assets of the owners are protected. This means that the owners of a corporation are not personally responsible for the debts or liabilities of the business. If the corporation faces financial trouble, the owner's personal assets remain safe. Third, corporations enjoy tax advantages. They can deduct business expenses, which significantly reduces their taxable income. These deductions can include costs such as salaries, rent, and utilities, which help in lowering the overall tax burden. Finally, corporations can leverage assets to grow their wealth. They can use their existing assets as collateral to secure loans and finance further investments. By using debt strategically, corporations can amplify their returns and accelerate their growth. This financial leverage is a powerful tool for expanding their operations and increasing profitability. These advantages are not exclusive to large corporations. Small businesses and even individuals can structure their finances to take advantage of these same principles. By understanding and applying these corporate strategies, smaller entities can also achieve significant financial growth and stability. The key is to adopt a strategic approach to financial management and leverage the available tools effectively. Corporations invest in assets that generate income and appreciate in value. They diversify their investments, spreading their risk across different asset classes. 
They also have access to sophisticated investment strategies that are not available to the general public. Individuals can adopt a similar approach by investing in stocks, bonds, real estate, and other assets. They can diversify their portfolio and seek professional advice to develop a sound investment strategy. Remember, investing is a marathon, not a sprint. Patience and discipline are key to long-term success. Taxes can take a big bite out of your earnings. Corporations understand this and use every legal means to minimize their tax liability. They take advantage of deductions, credits, and loopholes to reduce their tax burden. Individuals can also reduce their taxes by taking advantage of available tax benefits. This includes maximizing contributions to retirement accounts, claiming deductions for home ownership and business expenses, and investing in tax-advantaged accounts. It's important to consult with a qualified tax advisor to ensure you are taking advantage of all applicable tax breaks. Remember, it's not how much you earn, but how much you keep that matters. Section 5. Leveraging Assets for Growth Corporations use debt strategically to finance growth. They understand that leverage can amplify returns, but it also increases risk. They carefully analyze investments and use debt only when the potential rewards outweigh the risks. Individuals can also use leverage to build wealth. For example, they can use a mortgage to purchase a rental property, using the rental income to pay down the debt. As the property appreciates in value, they build equity and grow their wealth. However, it's crucial to use leverage responsibly. Too much debt can be risky, especially if your income is unstable or interest rates rise. Section 6. Incorporating Your Dreams Starting your own corporation can provide numerous benefits, including tax advantages, liability protection, and increased credibility. It can also make it easier to raise capital and attract investors. The process of incorporating a business can seem daunting, but it's more straightforward than you might think. You'll need to choose a business structure, register your business name, obtain the necessary licenses and permits, and set up your financial systems. It's essential to consult with a qualified attorney and accountant to ensure you are following all legal and financial requirements. They can guide you through the process and help you make informed decisions. Section 7. Building a Business, Building Wealth Building a successful business takes hard work, dedication, and a bit of luck. It often means long hours, late nights, and a relentless pursuit of your goals. The journey is filled with challenges, but each obstacle is an opportunity to learn and grow. But the rewards can be significant, both financially and personally. Achieving milestones and seeing your vision come to life brings immense satisfaction. The financial gains can provide security and the means to invest in future ventures. Owning your own business gives you the freedom to be your own boss, pursue your passions, and create something of value. It allows you to shape your work environment and culture, aligning it with your values and vision. There are countless business opportunities out there, from online businesses to brick and mortar stores. Whether you're interested in e-commerce, a service-based business, or a traditional retail store, the possibilities are endless. The key is to find a need in the market and fill it with a product or service that people are willing to pay for. Conduct thorough market research to understand your target audience and identify gaps in the market. Remember, the most successful businesses solve problems and make people's lives better. Innovation and customer satisfaction should be at the heart of your business strategy. Continuously seek feedback and improve your offerings. Focus on creating value for your customers and the profits will follow. Building strong relationships with your customers and understanding their needs will ensure long-term success and loyalty. Section 8. Protecting Your Fortune Once you've built your wealth, it's essential to protect it. This includes having adequate insurance coverage, diversifying your assets, 
and implementing estate planning strategies. Insurance protects you from unexpected events, such as accidents, natural disasters, and lawsuits. Diversification helps to mitigate risk by spreading your investments across different asset classes. Estate planning ensures that your assets are distributed according to your wishes and minimizes estate taxes. Consult with qualified professionals to develop a comprehensive plan to protect your assets and secure your financial future. Section 9 your journey to financial freedom. Building wealth is a journey, not a destination. It requires a shift in mindset, a willingness to learn, and the discipline to stick to your plan. By adopting the strategies used by corporations, you can unlock the door to financial freedom and create a brighter future for yourself and your loved ones. Remember, the most important investment you can make is in yourself Educate yourself about personal finance, seek out mentors, and surround yourself with like-minded individuals. The path to wealth is open to anyone willing to take the first step. Uh -oh.